Hello everyone. Dealing with the unforeseen challenges caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has taken a significant toll on people all across the world. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on tourism industry due to the resulting travel restrictions as well as slump in demand among travelers. The United Nations World Tourism Organization estimated that global international tourist arrivals might decrease by 20-30% in 2020, leading to a potential loss between $30 and $50 billion. In many of the world's cities, planned travel went down by 80-90%. to Many tourist attractions around the world, such as museums, amusement parks and sports venues, are closed. Some countries are heavily relying on tourism and seem to be in a better condition to be open for tourists later this summer. Greece will be opening the islands for tourism as of mid-June. Seasonal tourist accommodations will be open, and the regular sea ferry traffic to the islands will be restored, but everyone needs to know that, as the country's tourism minister has said, there will be new rules for hotels, beaches and pools as the world tries to adapt in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. Let's hope for the best and remind ourselves that Greece was voted the most beautiful country in the world for 2019. Prestigious and worldwide leading travel publication Condé Nast Traveller has presented the 10 most beautiful countries in the world. And it comes as no surprise that Greece has made it onto their exclusive list. In this video we will travel through the list of the top 10 Greek islands for 2020. It is a hard task to complete such a list but I will try my best. Add your comments if your favorite island appears on the list and make a suggestion for a future video. Relax and enjoy a piece of the islands in the hot Mediterranean summer. 10. Andros. Andros is the northernmost island of the Greek Cyclades archipelago, about 10 kilometers 6 miles southeast of Evia, and about 3 kilometers 2 miles north of Tinos. It is nearly 40 kilometers 25 miles long and its greatest breadth is 16 kilometers 10 miles. It is for the most part mountainous with many fruitful and well-watered valleys. The municipality, which includes the island Andros and several small uninhabited islands, has an area of 380 square kilometers 146.719 square miles. The largest towns are Andros, town, Gavrio, Batsi and Ormos Corthiou. Paleopolis, the ancient capital, was built into a steep hillside, and the breakwater of its harbour can still be seen underwater. At the village of Apoikia, there is the notable spring of Sariza, where the water flows from a sculpted stone lion's head. Andros also offers great hiking options with many new paths being added each year. In the town of Andros is located the Museum of Contemporary Art. There are many beaches to choose from and many restaurants with authentic local recipes in their menus. Andros is only two hours away from the port of Rafina and is connected to the islands of Tinos and Mykonos very regularly. 9. Hydra. Hydra is one of the Saronic islands of Greece, located in the Aegean Sea between the Myrtoan Sea and the Argolic Gulf. It is separated from the Peloponnese by a narrow strip of water. In ancient times, the island was known as Hydrea derived from the Greek word for water, a reference to the natural springs on the island. Hydra depends on tourism, and Athenians account for a sizable segment of its visitors. High-speed hydrofoils and catamarans from Piraeus, some 37 nautical miles 69 kilometers away, serve Hydra, stopping first at Poros before going on to Spetses. Many Athenians drive to Metochi, leave their car in the secure car park, and take the 20-minute passenger ferry across to Hydra. Rubbish trucks are the only motor vehicles on the island, since by law, cars and motorcycles are not allowed. Horses, mules and donkeys, and water taxis provide public transportation. Hydra benefits from numerous bays and natural harbors, and has a strong maritime culture. The island is a popular yachting destination and is the home of the Kamini Yacht Club, an international yacht club based in the port of Kamini. 8. Patmos. Patmos is a small Greek island in the Aegean Sea. It is perhaps best known today as the location the disciple John received the visions found in the Book of Revelation of the New Testament, and where the book was written. Patmos is one of the northernmost islands of the Dodecanese complex. Patmos' main communities are Hora, the capital city, and Scala, the only commercial port. Other settlements are Griku and Campus. 
The churches and communities on Patmos are of the Eastern Orthodox tradition. Patmos is situated off the west coast of Turkey and the continent of Asia. It is further west than its nearby neighboring islands. The island of Patmos has regular ferry services, which connect it to the following ports, Agathonisi, Mykonos, Paros, Piraeus, the main port of Athens, Pythagorio and Karlovasi on Samos, Syros, Liros, Naxos, Arkoi, Lipsi, Simi and Rhodes. 7. Syros. Syros is a Greek island in the Cyclades, in the Aegean Sea. It is located 78 nautical miles 144 kilometers southeast of Athens. The area of the island is 83.6 square kilometers 32 square miles and it has 21,507 inhabitants. The largest towns are Ermupolis and Anno Syros. Ermupoli is the capital of the island and of the Cyclades. It has always been a significant port town, and during the 19th century it was even more significant than Piraeus. Other villages are Galicis, Phoenicas, Pagos, Mana, Kini and Poseidonia. Ermupoli stands on a naturally amphitheatrical site, with neoclassical buildings, old mansions, and white houses cascading down to the harbour. It was built during the Greek War of Independence in the 1820s. The city hall is in the center of the town, in Miaulis Square, ringed with cafes, seating areas, and palm trees. Dubbed the City of Hermes, Syros has numerous churches, such as Metamorphosis, Coimesis, St. Demetrius, and St. Nicholas. There is an archaeological museum and a municipal library. The quarter of Vaporia is where sea captains traditionally lived. There are numerous neoclassical mansions along the quarter's narrow streets. 6. Zakynthos. Zakynthos is a Greek island in the Ionian Sea. It is the third largest of the Ionian Islands. It covers an area of 405.55 square kilometers, 156.6 square miles, and its coastline is roughly 123 kilometers, 76 miles in length. In Greek mythology, the island was said to be named after Zakynthos, the son of the legendary Arcadian chief Dardanus. Zakynthos is a tourist destination, with an international airport served by charter flights from Northern Europe. The island's nickname is, the Flower of the Levant, bestowed upon it by the Venetians who were in possession of Zakynthos from 1484 to 1797. Famous landmarks include the Navagio Beach, a cove on the northwest shore isolated by high cliffs and accessible only by boat. Numerous natural blue caves are cut into cliffs around Cape Skinari, and accessible only by small boats. Northern and eastern shores feature numerous wide sandy beaches, the largest resort is Lagunas. 5. Crete. Crete is the largest and most populous of the Greek islands, the 88th largest island in the world and the 5th largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, after Sicily, Sardinia, Cyprus, and Corsica. It bounds the southern border of the Aegean Sea. Crete lies approximately 160 kilometers 99 miles south of the Greek mainland. It has an area of 8,336 square kilometers 3,219 square miles and a coastline of 1,046 kilometers 650 miles. Crete and a number of surrounding islands and islets constitute the region of Crete. Its capital and largest city is Heraklion, located on the northern shore of the island. As of 2011, the region had a population of 623,065. The Dodecanese are located to the northeast of Crete, while the Cyclades are situated to the north, separated by the Sea of Crete. The Peloponnese is to the region's northwest. Crete straddles two climatic zones, the Mediterranean and the North African, mainly falling within the former. As such, the climate in Crete is primarily Mediterranean. Today, the island's tourism infrastructure caters to all tastes, including a very wide range of accommodation, the island's facilities take in large luxury hotels with their complete facilities, swimming pools, sports and recreation, smaller family-owned apartments, camping facilities and others. Visitors reach the island via two international airports in Heraklion and Hania. Or by boat to the main ports of Heraklion, Hania, Rathimno and Ias Nikolaos. 
Popular tourist attractions include the archaeological sites of the Minoan civilization, the Venetian Old City and Port of Hania, the Venetian Castle at Rathimno, the Gorge of Samaria, the islands of Crissi, Elephanisi, Gramvusa, Spinalonga and the Palm Beach of Vai, which is the largest natural palm forest in Europe. 4. Rhodes Rhodes is the largest of the Dodecanese islands of Greece and is also the island group's historical capital. The principal town of the island and seat of the municipality is Rhodes. The city of Rhodes had 50,636 inhabitants in 2011. It is located northeast of Crete, southeast of Athens. Rhodes' nickname is the Island of the Knights, named after the Knights of St. John of Jerusalem, who ruled the island from 1310 to 1522. Historically, Rhodes Island was very famous worldwide for the Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The medieval old town of the city of Rhodes has been declared a World Heritage Site. Today, it is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Europe. The name of the US state of Rhode Island is thought to be based on this island. Rhodes is one of the most attractive tourist destinations in Greece. After Crete the island is the most visited destination in Greece. The average length of stay is estimated at 8 days. Guests from Great Britain, Israel, France, Italy, Sweden and Norway are the ones that constitute the biggest portion in terms of the arrivals by country. In Rhodes the supply of available rooms is high, since more than 550 hotels are operating in the island, the majority of which are two-star hotels. 3. Corfu Corfu is a Greek island in the Ionian Sea. It is the second largest of the Ionian islands and including its small satellite islands, forms the margin of the northwestern frontier of Greece. The island is part of the Corfu Regional Unit, and is administered by three municipalities with the islands of Othanoi, Arekusa and Mathraki. The principal city of the island is also named Corfu. Corfiotes have a long history of hospitality to foreign residents and visitors. The northeast coast has largely been developed by a few British holiday companies, with large expensive holiday villas. Package holiday resorts exist on the north, east and southwest coasts. At the other end of the island, the southern resort of Kavos also provides tourist facilities. The island coupled with a selection of all-inclusive package hotels and traditional Corfiat villas and flats. The Carician Lake Nature Reserve also provides a stopover for European birds migrating south. Up until the early 20th century, it was mainly visited by the European royals and elites, today it is also widely visited by middle-class families, primarily from the UK, Scandinavia and Germany. With the advent of the jet airliner bringing these groups relatively affordable package holidays, Corfu was one of the primary destinations for this new form of mass tourism. It is still popular with the ultra-wealthy however, and in the island's northeast the homeowners include members of the Rothschild family and Russian oligarchs. 2. Mykonos Mykonos is a Greek island, part of the Cyclades, lying between Tinos, Syros, Paros and Naxos. The island has an area of 85.5 square kilometers (33.0 square miles) and rises to an elevation of 341 meters (1119 feet) at its highest point. There are 10,134 inhabitants according to the 2011 census, most of whom live in the largest town, Mykonos, which lies on the west coast. The town is also known as Hora. Mykonos's nickname is the Island of the Winds. Mykonos has a Mediterranean climate. The sun shines for up to 300 days a year. Many people flock to Mykonos for two reasons, beaches and parties. There are many gorgeous beaches such as Platys Gialos Beach, 5 km southeast of Mykonos town, Ornos Beach, Saru Beach, Paraga Beach, Aelia Beach, Paradise Beach, Super Paradise Beach, Ias Ioannis Beach. Along with Santorini, Mykonos is considered one of the more expensive Greek islands, and it is known as the Ibiza of Greece as it is famous for its cosmopolitan atmosphere and lively nightlife. 1. Santorini Santorini is an island in the southern Aegean Sea, about 200 km 120 miles southeast of Greece's mainland. It is the largest island of a small, circular archipelago, which bears the same name and is the remnant of a volcano. 
The municipality of Santorini includes the inhabited islands of Santorini and Theresia, as well as the uninhabited islands of Nea Kameni, Palaia Kameni, Asprenisi and Christiana. The island was the site of one of the largest volcanic eruptions in recorded history, the Minoan eruption, sometimes called the Thera eruption, which occurred about 3,600 years ago at the height of the Minoan civilization. The eruption left a large caldera surrounded by volcanic ash deposits hundreds of meters deep. It may have led indirectly to the collapse of the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete, 110 kilometers 68 miles to the south, through a gigantic tsunami. Another popular theory holds that the Thera eruption is the source of the legend of Atlantis. Santorini's primary industry is tourism, particularly in the summer months. The expansion of tourism has resulted in the growth of the economy and population. Akrotiri is a major archaeological site, with ruins from the Minoan era. Santorini was ranked the world's top island by many magazines and travel sites, including the Travel and Leisure magazine, the BBC, as well as the US News. An estimated 2 million tourists visit annually. Santorini offers some of the finest beaches in the Aegean Sea. Most of Santorini beaches have the famous black volcanic sand and deep blue waters that any visitor to the island remembers. Some beaches have red or white sand with pebbles. Do at least one tour, they're awesome, fun, and a great way to get to see the island in a short amount of time. Santorini boat tours, Santorini wine tours, Santorini private tours, they're all great. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed my list for the top 10 Greek islands for 2020. I wish you a safe and relaxing summer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.